All right, guys, we're finally able to talk about it. this. This thing right here is the Dream Router from Unify, replacing the Dream Machine. I wouldn't say replacing a successor because you can still buy both, but this is $199 compared to $299 is the Dream Machine. This is the Dream Router. The Dream Machine, Wi Fi 5. The Dream Router, Wi Fi 6. That has a four port switch. The Dream Machine has a four port switch. This has a four port switch with two PoE ports on it. Pretty cool, excluding the WAN. We're not gonna talk about the WAN, but that's an extra port, but you know, gotta have internet. And that's the only way to get a router to have internet. And what's a router without internet? Unless you're just gonna do it in an enclosed network with no internet. But we're not talking about that. It has the screen on the front. Cool screen on the front to notice your upload and download data. Um, Wi-Fi 6 again, micro SD card slot. On this, upgrade expandable storage. It does have 128 gig SSD inside, but it's set up cameras, do phones and everything like that. So yeah, let's get this unboxed. I'm so excited. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Let's just open this up. We're gonna do this. This one is actually not mine. I told my brother-in-law about it and he really wanted it. So we got him it. So, but I told him I wanted before it got shipped, shipped to my house. So I could do a video on it. So let's get her done. I want to see if it feels the same as the original Dream Machine. So we'll take this off. Same packaging, same style, same case it looks like. Size, definitely so far, looks exactly the same. Ooh, feeling is definitely different. This feels more um, slippery, like, a, like an actual plastic. The Dream Machine felt more of like a rubbery feeling on it. This does not. The screen is nice, small. There is no peel on cover on it. Uh, micro SD card slot here. Does it come out? Or do you have to get this out? Let's see. Oh, just pull it out with your nail. Does it come all? It comes all the way out. It looks like a phone one that you put a phone in. So that's pretty cool. Like you put in a phone. Cool beans. But yeah, this is the size. I mean, it's pretty interesting. We'll have to get it set up. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to set it up and see new features, see what new features it has, or, you know, see what features it doesn't have. So, I mean, some of these devices might be lacking in some security stuff that like the Dream Machine Pros have. So we just gotta see and test it out. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it should be. It still has the button and the, the reset button on the bottom to reset it. And it has, looks like it has a fan still, but the feel definitely feels a lot different. This is the size, it's not too big at all. It's the exact same size as the other one, it's set a little screen on there. But yeah, that's pretty dang cool. So, let's get into the videos of how it's set up. Just a little heads up before we get into the video. The cord is the exact same as the other one. All right, guys, I'm here to talk about the setup that I did with the UDR. Unify Dream Router, baby. All right, so I've been running this router with my brother-in-law. He's been having it for, as soon as this went on early access, I got, he, well, I told him about it on his early access, and he got it, and he's been running, and I helped him set it up and everything. Been running great, no problems. He just got the plug. I'm gonna be help setting up the plug. He just wants me to be there to help set it up, but we'll be doing that for him. The smart plug, so if you know the router goes, uh, the internet goes down, it'll restart his modem for him. But let's get into the updates. There is an update for it already, so we're gonna do an update for it. So let's see. We'll go to the settings. So actually, we'll go back to the main settings for it. Here, we'll go to update this way. I just like doing it this way. And there's update. Oh, it's just a protect update. Yeah, updating protect. That's all it is. This is a protect update. But yeah. So, uh, while that's doing that, this is version 2.49. So this is version 2.49 of the um, uh, OS network controller that he's running on it, right? I mean, the firmware that he's running. Network 7.161. So he's running that. This is the new interface. They're all gonna be getting this. I just did the NVR, and this is the new interface for the non-NVR Pro. Uh, the same update settings looks like this. So this will be the new OS look, just to give it a heads up. So. Unify, Dream, uh, UDM, and UDM Pro will be getting this update too soon. 
So, uh, yeah, let's go to about this console. I did blur his information out so nobody knows his secrets. But, yeah, shows his memory there, his memory usage. This only gets 1.98 gigs, like two, you know, basically like two gigs, basically, but, you know, just like a hard drive. You get a hard drive, but really, you don't get to get the whole space. But, um, you know, 500 gig hard drive, really four point something, but yeah. In the first update, I know they're probably going to add more statistics like the UDM, UDM Pro, because when this first came out, it had all, the, you know, the CPU, the temperature, and the memory. And then one firmware update later, like the first firmware update, it removed it. And every beta firmware update since has, hasn't been back. And this is an official one. It's still not there. It is important to know. I mean, it's not necessary. It still works, but it is good information to know that. So, I mean, it could be coming out and being, uh, being able to have that again. Maybe they're just having problems with it right now. Or they just haven't thought about it or looked at it. I don't know. But, I mean, it can have it. So, just saying that out of the gate. Um, this one does have the do... Uh, POE ports. He is running a. Let me go to his stuff here. Okay, going into his settings. And I will show you guys his unified devices. Okay, so he is running a US Flex Mini. He is running that on there, uh, powering it by the PoE of the router itself, one of the PoE ports, instead of using the adapter that comes with the Flex Mini. Remember, the Flex Mini does come with a power adapter, but you don't have to use it if you want to PoE it. Just to have one less cable. Uh, well, it's not really one less cable. Either way, you're going to have one for power and data. Well, actually, it is one less cable because it does power and data instead of data, power from another cord, and then data from another cord. So, yeah, so you are, it is one less cord. Uh, so yeah, it's been running great literally since it first took early access. So until now, it's no problems whatsoever. He loves it. He's like, as soon as he got it, we did some tests. He's like, oh my god, it's so much better, Miles. God, I'm so glad I listened to you and stuff like that. When this first came out though, in early access, it was only 79 bucks, but now it's 199. I called him and I told him like, dude, it's 199. You got it at a good time. He goes, oh. Oh man, oh, thank God I listened to you. And I was like, yeah, you did the right thing. You're smart, I said. But yeah, he just loves this thing. It's just been running great. He has all his devices. Again, blurring out uh, uh, all the names of the certain devices he might not want to show. But uh, yeah, it just it works great. Uh, this is one ax This one thing is doing his whole house. His whole house, I would say, is 1,800 square feet, and it runs it great with, with no other access points. And it, it just works. It works great for him. He has his VLAN set up. I mean, it, it works. Uh, it has all, you know, this has, uh, if we go to settings, it has VPN. So we can do VPN on this thing. So uh, it has the new teleport VPN, which all the other ones will probably be getting too soon. Remember, this is the new interface of the new firmware that everybody else will be probably getting. But yeah, from you can create teleport. Uh, the peer-to-peer -peer VPN, L2P2, um, and they have the site-to-site -at -site the bottom there. But yeah, he hasn't set up the VPN yet. I mean, I mean, unless you just want to be protected when you're searching out a line. But uh, I mean, that's the way I would use it. Or if you have a NAS at home that you want to connect to files and stuff remotely, secure, or you want to transfer things, that's about it. I mean. Most users, home users, probably won't even use the VPN, to be honest with you. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's awesome if you know how to use it and, and if you actually have the space, but a normal user, some people just don't care. You talk, you know, come on, guys. We talk to people. Oh, you should get your own router. And some people are just uh, tech illiterate. They're just, oh, give me my own router. If something goes wrong, I don't even care if I even save money. It would cost me less and my bill would go down. I'd rather not deal with it because then I have to worry about that IT stuff. If it's Comcast or AT&T's or SureWest or whoever, they can worry about If I have a problem, I'll just call him and they'll send the guy out and he'll fix it for me and stuff like that. Some people are like that, just to be honest with you. Some people will get this. Somebody will set it up for them. Maybe they're, you know, they do it for their dad, their mother, father-in-law, or a business. They set it up and then they're done. They're golden. They're not going to think about a VPN. I mean, most, like, this can run do a small business. Most small businesses that this would be at, I mean, it could use a VPN, but most of them probably not, like a coffee shop. I mean, I don't know why a coffee shop would need a VPN other than people that connect to it would need their own VPN, but that's the only thing I'm thinking of. But, I mean, 
it, it, it works. It has this option there. Traffic management, firewall and security, um, got all the, some countries blocked. Uh, I mean, uh, let's see, is that even on there? Uh, one, two, no, it's not. Let's add another one right now. Uh, search. Uh, are you Russia? There we go. Apply changes. Russia is added on there now. Perfect. Uh, or did I take Russia off? Yeah, I did. What the heck? I just didn't see it before. That's probably it. I probably just didn't see it before. Uh, maybe I was just doing... I don't know. I didn't see it, but it's there now, so whatever. But yeah, so we got all the countries there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it just... It really does just work great. I mean, this... The, all the ports, I mean... Everything is basically the same as your UDM, UDM Pro, other than it just has lesser ports on it, uh, a slower processor, doesn't have a hard drive slot, it does have a micro SD card slot, he, and it does have 128 gig internal storage, which the SE Unified uh, Dream Machine Pro SE has too, but um, that's what he's using for his cameras right now. He will be getting the, um, the Cloud Key Gen 2. That's what he's going to get next, so that he can have bigger hard drives in it. And to be honest with you, this um, device can only run... Let me show you guys here. Uh, let's go back to here, and we'll go to settings. And see, UDR can run up to two applications. Only two applications. And he's going to want to probably add a lot more cameras, he said, too. You know, he's waiting on Unify because the store is always so booked because there's a shortage of, you know, chips and everything right now, so it's hard to get stuff. But, yeah... He's going to be going to grab that stuff soon. But, yeah, I mean, most people who have a UDM and a uh, UD, uh, an UDR are going to want to get a Cloud Key Gen 2 if they want to get into cameras and some other stuff because you can run all the same stuff in the Cloud Key Gen 2, but you can run all of it. But plus, let's say you're like, well, hey, I want to run Access and the network. Obviously, you can run the network controller on your router, but I want to run Access on the UD, uh, UDR or the UDM. And then I'll get the cloud key. All it does is just run protect and make my can uh, my uh, talk and everything like that. So you can do all that stuff um, without having to worry about you know oh I only can run this much on this because eventually I mean once if you want to run all more than these you can't do that you only can run two. So the cloud key Gen two always has its spot. So don't ever knock it until you try it. I mean. We uh, if you got a little router and you don't want to have to rack mount everything, get the Cloud Key Gen 2. They do have a, a rack mount people have made, and they do sell attachments where you can rack mount it if you want to. But still, it's a great thing. It's great, and you can put SSDs in it. Remember, SSDs are better for video recording too, but they're just more expensive, and the sizes are the big sizes are hard to find and even more expensive. But hard drives work just as fine. It's just you get smoother videos. I mean, you still get smooth video. It's just hard to explain because. If you look it up, SSDs are better for video recording and stuff like that. Hard drives still work great, don't get me wrong, but SSDs are the sweet spot. But yeah, I mean, this router has just been really, really good, to be honest with you. I mean, uh, with one of his cameras, he only has one camera. Uh, if we go to it, we can see is the 128 gig in there. Two months. Uh, earliest recording is two months. Um, he only has one camera on it right now. I blur out all of his cameras. There's no reason for you to see any of that stuff. And no reason for me to see any of it. I'm not going to go look at his business and stuff like that. But yeah, so I mean, it just, it works really dang good. Alright guys, we're back. So that's very interesting, the features that the Dream Machine has and everything like that. The Dream, Pro, oh, sorry, the Dream Router has, I should call it. I wish it would have been called the, you know, Dream Machine 6. That would have been cool because it's Wi-Fi 6, and then guess what? Wi-Fi 7 comes out. Let's just come out a couple years here. Then we go the Dream Machine 7, Dream Machine 8, the Dream Machine 10, the Dream Machine. You know, I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, you didn't have to, but it's just kind of a cool thing. So you know what Wi-Fi you're getting, and then you know what model. Like, oh, that's the Dream Machine 5. That's well, that's been long down the line. Or that's you know, it wouldn't be the Dream Machine 5. It'd be the Dream Machine, and then it starts the number count. But yeah, but yeah, this is the Dream Machine. It's pretty dang awesome. My brother in law is going to love setting it up. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to walk him through it. And he'll be a professional all the way, but we'll check all his stuff. But yeah, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. It gives me every information possible.
get pumped up to make more of these videos for you guys. And hey, if you don't like it, hit the bottom, the dislike button. It lets me know too what you don't want to see. But yeah, peace out. Have a rock and rolling week. And spend some time with your family. Keep on loving life. Peace out.